Okay, so today we're going to use uh, the big Dollar Tree plastic Christmas bulbs and some of the little toys that you find in the toy aisle. Some extra fine glitter and they they make really really cute ornaments. I happen to find a whole collection of the Winnie the Pooh and I had some little Christmas trees and uh, snowmen that I wanted to add and I kinda tried to color coordinate with each one So today, I'm doing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These ones I've put together already, kind of, just to give you an idea. And I'm going to put this one together. Um, things that you're going to need is the big bulb. It's plastic from the Dollar Tree and you're going to actually cut this open. Uh, you're going to need a really sharp X-Acto knife, sharp little pair of scissors, you're going to need the chenille stems, some coordinating bows, you're going to need, I use Mop and Glow, any floor wax would probably work, this is just what I happen to have on hand. Uh, you're going to need glitter, whichever color glitter that you want to use. This is extra fine. Uh, this one came from Walmart, um, and these type here come from Hobby Lobby. So, let's get started. Oh, and you're going to need some, this is what I used, it's called Soft Snow. Uh, it's got different little colors in it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's to cover up the little piece of styrofoam. It's easier to put it on the styrofoam versus just two little points of gluing. So what you're going to do is take your little man or whatever you're going to use and glue his little feet and stick him right to the styrofoam. Now you're going to kind of glue everywhere on the styrofoam. And take your glitter just kind of sprinkle it. You want to kind of cover up the styrofoam just to make it look better. And just kind of slather it on there. set them off to the side. With the big bulbs, it's fairly easy to cut. You can draw you a circle on it, you can freehand it. I just freehand it. Uh, just puncture it and get it started. And take your sharp scissors. Just go inside. And as you can see, it cuts it fairly, fairly well until you get to the tops and the bottoms. It's a little bit thicker there, but if you just work it, you just cut it in a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to have little jagged edges that you can go back and clean up after. it out. And then you can go back and clean it up. Okay. Take it 
taking a little lid off, set it off to the side. Get you a bowl, one that you really don't care about. Pour some mop and glow into the bowl and swirl it all the way around it. Make sure you get all the way out to the edges. And just cover it all inside. Shake out any excess and set it on a paper towel just to drain for a second. <coughs> I've already done these. So, and once you put the glitter in, you need to set them off and let them dry a little bit. Make sure that the uh, wax hardens. Usually it takes a couple hours. So just open your glitter and dump it inside and do the same thing as you did with the wax. Just kind of spread it around. Get you a clean container to catch any glitter falling out. Go all the way to the edge. And then just tap, tap it. You can see it really, really coats nicely in there. And when you let that wax dry, it pretty much stays in place. So I'm going to set that one off because this one is dried already. And he's for the little blue guy. So to start with, on the back side of him, you're going to put a pretty good amount because it's not going to sit flat into the bulb and stick the back side down first. Just hold it there for a minute, let it dry, cool. And then you're going to lift the front up just a little bit and put some on the front part of it. And again, push it down. Let it dry. And he's stuck in there. You're going to take your chenille stem and starting at the bottom, starting at the bottom, just go right around the edge. Stick your stem on there. And this also helps cover up the sharp edges of the plastic. So if you have children, it'll help them to not get cut. And just go all the way around just hold it in place for a second my glue gun is set to really really hot so it takes 
longer for it to cool down. And you can do these with anything that will fit inside the bulb. Any kind of little characters that the children may be into. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mickey and Minnie, uh, the Dollar Tree has a lot of characters um, that you can pick and choose from. And if you can't find them at the Dollar Tree, <coughs> if you children have toys laying around that they no longer play with, you can use those as well. Just go all the way to the end. And you can cut off the excess. Clean up any little pieces. Put your top back on. Find your coordinating ribbon or bow. I went ahead and did mine ahead of time. And just stick it on there. And there you have them. The first Teenage Mutant one done. As you can see, it doesn't take that long to make them. And just set that off to the side and go on to the next one. This is for whatever the orange one's name is. I used to know them when my boys were young, but That was quite a few years ago. Again, just stick it in the back first. Kind of hold it in place and let it cool. Lift up the front just a little bit to catch the front side. Take it back down. You can add other little things like I did with the Winnie the Pooh if you want to do little trees or anything like that that you want to, or if you have room. Again, you take the just go around the edge. Just hold it in place till it dries.
put your little top on. Your coordinating ribbon. the next one. So when you get all done, you'll have the complete set and they're easy to make. They're nice and sparkly. When the lights hit them from behind, you can still see through them. So, hope you enjoyed my video.